Hi friends, welcome to Engineering Clinic. Today we are going to see how to install Moodle 4.4 version in Windows 11 operating system. Please understand that this procedure is not recommended for production use. Now we will go to the URL moodle.org. From there we can download uh, Moodle for Windows, the complete package of 225 MB and then uh, paste it to the D drive. So I am just pasting this to the D colon. So always use D colon or E drive. So don't use anything in the C colon because it needs some additional privileges. Now after it is done, you just unzip or extract the complete folder into another folder and rename it to some short name. For example, Moodle or Moodle 44 or Moodle underscore 44. Let it be a single syllable. Don't give any blank space uh, when you rename the folders. So that will be your first step that you can do. In my case, I have given us Moodle 44. That's what I got. Now we have uh, three files. So there we have a start Moodle. There is one uh, small executable file. Just simply double click that file and it will be asking for permission to start MySQL as well as starting Apache. So once you give both of these things, your server will be started. So very easily it will be started. So now you can see if you want to stop it, there is another exe file called as stop model so that you can able to give it. Okay. So now we have just started. Now go to the URL. Uh, you open a website, sorry, open a browser and uh, give the URL localhost or simply give http colon slash slash localhost. Now this will be in uh, initiating the installation process for Moodle. Okay. So now the server is started. We again, yeah, okay. Okay. Now you can see the installation is going to start here. It by default given English, then uh, give all the locations, see the all the locations and click next. Then give the database name as Moodle and the database password, no password now. That's why we are telling it is not recommended for production use. So in real production is we need to have a complex password and everything will be complex. Now once we click next, now it will be creating the databases and everything will be done. After that you will get this, uh, I mean agreement. So once you click this, now you can see in the right hand side, okay, okay, like that in green color. So there will be something in, uh, uh, I mean yellow color, which is warning, you can neglect it. But if something red comes here, red color comes here, you need to handle that errors because red colors are the errors, you need to handle it. Else you can leave it as it is because uh, green or yellow, it's only a warning, still your system will run. Now in our case in the yellow is HTTP or HTTPS. Okay, so now the installation is going is starting here. So this might take some time, but for cutting short the video, I have just cut the particular process, but it might take uh, around 20 minutes for uh, my system to get installed this complete packages. So the instructions what I have just given in the video, they are just given the instructions here. You can see that in the description window below. So download Moodle for Windows from Moodle.org, copy the file to either D or E drive, unzip the contents and name it in single syllable or a single word. Uh, example, uh, Moodle 44 or Moodle underscore 44 because why 44 is I downloaded the version of 4.4 which is the recent version. So do not give any blank space in between the words, sentences. Just double click the start underscore Moodle.exe file and that's it the server will uh, with HTTP and MySQL will be started. HTTP means it is Apache. Okay, then point number five, open the browser and uh, go to the URL HTTP colon slash slash localhost or HTTP colon slash slash 1.0.0.1 and this will start initiate the installation process of model in your Windows 11 machine. Okay, point number six is Wait for the installation to get over so it may take some time based on your ram and the processing speed of your computer point number seven so first step is the step is not recommended for the production environment because we are not using any passwords or anything for that just a blank uh, information black machine that uh, you can learn Moodle how to use it so you may encounter some errors or warnings in the page correct those errors and start the installation so for me luckily there was no errors no, no only one warning https warning so that's okay no issues but all of this was uh, intact i am using a windows 11 operating system 
now in the next screen you can give the name of the database username is root and password is blank so in future you can set the password for the database so setting the password is a complex instruction so that you can able to follow it later now after everything is over you will get this screen the installation is over the screen you will be getting it here you can give the username as administrator and password you can give a complex password here so i will give one complex password but still it uh, the moodle might be throwing some error that this password is not secure enough so give a complex password that includes an upper case letter lower case letter a symbol and uh, some numbers so that's how the way it uses so let me see i am just giving a password simple password like a1 b2 c3 d d4 i am just giving it but uh, I'm just giving my user uh, first name as my name. Uh, I'm the administrator here. Okay, so then email address. I just give my email address here. And uh, city, Chennai. You can give it and country India and time zone is. I'm not given the time zone, but time zone I give in the next screen. Okay, so now you can see uh, the password must have at least one lower case, one upper case like this. So I just give something hello at the one two three, but I just give welcome at the rate one two three. So W is capital letter. So that's how the way I just give the information. Okay, now I give the update profile. So once the profile is updated, that been now in the next screen, you will be getting the full site name. So I am just giving a full site name here as. Moodle test site and give it as Moodle simply Moodle. You can give some short name and any description you can give. So you can give the time time zone here. Now we are in Asia Kolkata. So just give the Asia Kolkata time zone. Yes. Now uh, manage other thing. This thing you leave it and support email. You can give your email ID. I'll just for uh, since it is a testing server. Uh, no need of giving. No need of giving anything here. But anyway, if you want to give, you can give your email addresses. Then click save changes. And in the next screen, you will be getting a front page. Now here, so to start with, I need to create a course, and then in the course, I need to add some users. Okay. Now click the home available courses, no courses, add a new course. Now click uh, a course here. So now I'm just giving a course called as Cyber Physical System. And here I give the short name as CPS underscore Pradeep. So that way I can give. So to make it understand, so it is handled by Pradeep. And uh, that's what I just given. So I use CPS underscore Pradeep. Now the course starts from 15 July because I just recorded in the morning only 15 July, and end date is one year. So uh, just set accordingly. And if any other information you want to give it here, you can give it and click it. So now that's what I have just created the course name. A course has been created. So the teacher is there. So if you want to add more number of teachers, you can add more number of teachers also into the course. Uh, but I have just added only myself over there. Okay, now click inside. You can see here, uh, this is the course page. So I can go into the edit mode in the right top right, you can see edit mode. So once you go there, uh, you can give the activity here. So add an activity, you can see the list of activities like assignment, book, choice, database. There are so many activities and resources. Activities means you are giving something the student to do something and then you evaluate resources mean you share some information to the students for their learning Okay, so that's what I've just given in the last point here. So our installation is over and successfully Installed Moodle in our machine And You can create a course and start creating contents like resources and activities in mode so some of the activities like assignment quizzes h5p h5p is kind of a html5 uh, contents so you can able to give there are uh, more than uh, hundreds of contents are available there you can uh, make use of that for resources means you just go with the file sharing 
ஸ்டெடி மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் தென் பிடிஎஃப் ஷேரிங் வீடியோ ஷேரிங் ஃபோல்டர்ஸ் டெக்ஸ்ட் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் டு சென்ட் எனி சர்க்குலர்ஸ் டு த ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் எவ்ரி திங் யூ கேன் ஏபிள் டு ஷேர் யூசிங் த ரிசோர்ஸஸ் ஸோ ரிசோர்ஸஸ் டசன்ட் ஹேவ் எனி எவாலுவேஷன் பட் ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் ஹேவ் எவாலுவேஷன் ஸோ ஆல் த பெஸ்ட் ஃபார் யுவர் லேர்னிங் so follow my channel for more such videos and if you want to uh, give how to give assignment how to create quizzes what are the different quiz questions are available so all these videos are available already in our channel so you can subscribe for more details so thank you very much thanks for watching this video